Namaste. I'm Kiran. This is my sincere plea. As Indians, we must become aware of what happened, especially those incidents that form the part of our country's history. This might seem like another random movie to most. And in many places, there are vested interests trying to get it banned. Imagine if just watching this, a mere movie is so tough. What about those who actually faced such situations in their lives? And after facing such dreadly traumas, the bigger trauma is that the remaining Indians conveniently forgot about them. I am speaking about the Kashmiri Hindus, Kashmiri Pandits. It's very easy for most others to say that they aren't concerned as they don't belong to such a community. But fact be said, if we don't understand or become aware that what happened to the Pandits was nothing short of genocide, then as Indians, as sons and daughters of Bharat, we're actually allowing vested interests to take over our future and our fate will not be different from those of the Kashmiri Hindus. This awareness must sink in heart for each one of us. You don't have to believe any word that I just said. I just have a simple request. If you can do it instead of watching the Kashmir Files on OTT platform, watch it in a theater. Trust me, this is one movie that's going to impact you and jolt you awake. Every word said in each of the dialogues by the different actors, each one of them lived their role, each one of them. The scenes shown in the most realistic and understated manner. Every scene will remain the viewers. No words are enough to express gratitude to the director Vivek Anjan Agrihotri ji. Absolutely no words. All I'm saying is, we need to show our solidarity with the Kashmiri Hindus. My respect for them has now grown a hundredfold. Well, the Jews never allowed their Holocaust to be forgotten, the Kashmir Pandits were unable to voice their unending trauma and horror of living through it. As Indians, we now need to become their voice, lest we end up having the same fate as so many of them, who died brutal deaths for no faults of theirs. It's high time we started calling a spade a spade. No more pretense. Just awareness and proper understanding that what was their fate could be ours too if we don't wake up soon. When the lady was forced to eat her husband's blood-soaked rice, something even disturbing was that their own neighbor, who apparently were Muslim, told the terrorists that the man was hiding in the rice container. Can you imagine your own people betraying you? Moreover, I am glad that they didn't hide the fact, especially how the media works and how silent the Congress government was while the genocide was happening. Hmm? And that the JNU is breeding ground of brainwashing youth and spreading their propaganda. Hope more and more people watch this movie and it becomes a super hit film. Hats off to Vivek Agnihotri sir for this film. Anupam Kedrashan Kumar Pallavi, Joshi, Mithun Chakravarti, Sri Vatsavasar and the entire cast and crew. Thank you so much for presenting the truth to today's youth. Bharat Mata Ki Jai. Jai Hind.